You ever have that stupid friend? What who kind of that? friend? Yay, stupid kid three. Anywho, so uh, if you didn't know, this is a uh, stupid kid from stupid kid one and two. Wait a minute, I am. Oh no, it was uh, based on someone else. Oh. Yeah. What was his name? Jaden Smith. Oh yeah, which one do you want? Do you want the boobies one? Oh, that's lame. Okay, which one? Why are all your violence girls? Some of them are guys. Why? Did you do it just for the breasts? Yeah. This is Zane. Fuck off. Basically, James is a brony. If you're not aware what a brony is, then uh... Uh, they're a repulsive species. I don't like any other one. Do oh, I? he has actually a really good video explaining how bronies work. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll link it down there. He's a brony. But make these... He would make these like stories about so I made a file. It was the adventures of a bunch of friends and they were basically like us in a pony world, but we were on acid. God fing damn it! Basically real life, you know. Most ultimate faggot ever. This name's Kevin, okay? Have any of you ever seen an episode of SpongeBob? Where's the where there's the sea cucumber come? English motherfucker, do you speak it? Cu cu cucumber. His name is K is Kevin. Wah, wah, wah. Picture that, but it's a real person with the exact same name. Holy shit! He's a complete faggot and loser. Basically, uh, James made this little fan fiction. It wasn't like erotic or anything. He just made this. He wanted to make a show out of My Little Pony, but it was a spin-off. It was fu it was fucking weird. So me and Kevin went into uh, the Word document. He added some some fucks, some dicks, some vaginas. Yeah. James put it accidentally had it on a USB, which I don't even know how. I don't know how. Yeah, I and had it. I had it saved on my USB. The f the pony erotic fan fiction we well, made. Well, no, no, no. So as a joke, as a joke, you fucking. Let me explain. Fact. Let me explain it. So it was something about butt fucking Rainbow Dash, <laughs> and then they find out that it, that it's a guy, and so they slap him in the dick and swallow <laughs> his cum. <laughs> you guys should really read it. We should. We'll, we'll, I kind of jacked off to it maybe like three or four times. Just uh, I had it on a USB because my U my USB was hooked into the computer. And not knowing this, I bring my USB to school. We're working on this one research project. I accidentally leave my USB at school. Our LA teacher, she went to the USB and like she was wondering whose it was. So she looked through the documents and shit. And uh, she came across, she clicked on it. And then I can't imagine her face. She, uh, she read that and then she gave it to the principal. And uh, we got a... We got a stern talking to. Hey, yeah, Mr. F at my door. The teacher says you're not in trouble. It's a fucking lie. I ask, am I in trouble? He's like, no, don't worry, you're not in trouble. Don't worry. The one word that makes you worry. The one word that makes you worry. The one word. The one word. Yeah, yeah. One word. Everybody. So the I, one word. The one word. Don't worry. We. I get into the office, and across from me, I see my see Miles. He tells us to take a seat. And so we're sitting there, him and I looking at each other, scared. And all of a sudden, he pull, he starts pulling out. He pulls out this disc, and he starts. He's like, "Does this sound familiar to you?" He starts reading it off to us. Like, I start butt fucking Rainbow Dash. Oh, how sexy it was! <laughs> With the most bland face ever, and he's re and, and he's just going, "I butt fucked Rainbow Dash." And I pulled out her dick and fucking slapped it, and she came into my- And he, like, he's reading it like a real professional erotic reader. The whole time he's just sitting here asking us, Do you find this funny? Do you find this to make you guys laugh? Do you think this is funny? Because it is not. And he, the whole time he's sitting there yelling at us, and Miles and I are just trying to sit in the corner not laugh. <laughs> probably the best experience of my life, actually. Like, I'm I mean, probably going to remember this more than that one time I scored in lacrosse or any sport. We'll say... Their best memory was the time they first learned how to ride their bike or... No, my best memory was writing a fanfiction and getting it caught by my teacher. <laughs>